Okay, so we're checking out the only game where you can use a multicolored bow in order to ruthlessly violate the laws of physics. It's Minecraft. There's two things in life I hate. A dinner consisting of sad lava and physics without enough zeros in it. I had seen that at some point a gravity gun had been created in Minecraft. Um, but there was a problem with the gravity gun. Do you know what it was? A distinct lack of zeros. And thus a gravity gun is on today's menu and it will get stupider and stupider until I take the ender dragon and smash his face into the ground so many times that he dies from it. Alrighty. So what you do is you take your bow, you take the one chicken that didn't make it, throw your cobblestone in and look, it's magic. Now, obviously this is the, the very first attempt here. So I'm not really, whoa, we have physics. Now I made it so that I can yeet whatever. What the hell happened to the glass? It's like freaking rubber. What I was saying was I made it so that I can yeet things in horrible ways as well. Now, as you can see at this moment, we just have one single block. Wow, this is way easier than mine, and I think we're gonna beat the whole game today using only the gravity gun. Now I'm kind of curious, if I gravity a piece of lava, can I kill everyone with it? I'm just getting enough obsidian to make our life a lot easier. This is how you speed run everything. You just violate every law of Minecraft physics there is. Yeah, it definitely works by throwing it against the wall real fast. Yay! All right, lava, just stay where you are. Oh God, um... It's fine. Oh, I can absolutely grab something that's flaming and it sets everything else on fire when I throw it. Don't mind me, I'm just helping the, the lava get downstairs quicker. Oh, I can absolutely pick up the lava. I can actually just pick up the flames. What the hell? Let's get things rolling here. A couple minutes into the episode and everyone's already burning alive. Ah! I'm just dragging this dude around with me. I'm slamming him into all the trees and so they're taking damage from it, yes. Time to find a village. I'm bringing you two with me. Oh, this guy died. Here we have a group of squid in their natural habitat. <laughs> that is to say flying through the air. Oh, chicken. Chicken, come here. I'm gonna need your feathers. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. All right, I need a village because I wanna get iron so I can make the next level of gravity gun. God, I found a freaking city. It's worse than being out and alone. I've gotta put these guys out of their misery. Hold on. There we go. Now, at that height, they should die from this. <laughs> ah, shit. No way, I don't like fighting on an empty stomach. Get the hell out of here. Any of you guys want to help me with this or? No? All right, that's fine too. One half a heart, plenty. Hey, sheep, I need to use you as uh, ammo. <laughs> There is definitely something to beating a creeper to death with a flying sheep that I love. Oh, iron golem, thank God. Come here. Yeah, just, all right, now just, just kind of, mm, mm. there you go. Ugh. I wonder if he can survive a fall from max height. All right, he should be passing the moon right about now. Whoop, the hell? What kind of crazy levitation skills you got? Thing is unbelievably tough. So I have to beat it through all these houses. Whoa, man, dude it was tough. Thank God for the freaking hay bales. Hey, string, which is actually fantastic because I need to make another bow. <laughs> All right, bow. Oh, you know what? I need to kill one more chicken. Chicken, hey, hey, real quick. Do you know where I can find a chicken? No? How about now? You see one up there? <laughs> He's like, I can see my house from here. Ah! <laughs> All right, whatever, your village sucks anyway. I'm out of here. But no one gets to know. <laughs> that gray still <laughs> That gray still plays with over here. Oh, where the hell were you all forever and a day ago? Come here, there. Yeah, just you. All right, see that tree over there? I need you to meet the tree over and over again. Yeah, that's good. There we go, perfect. Feather, got it. <laughs> Don't worry, chicken. You're becoming something much more valuable. <laughs> the iron gravity gun. All right, let's see how this works. Okay, a little bit more. About the, ooh, oh, hell yes. This is the right way to dig. Don't mind me, I'm just literally scrambling the core of the earth. This is a fantastic way to mine, look at it. All right, there should be a ton of stuff down here for me to grab. Beautiful. Ah, I said it's like a friggin' hurricane. There we go. Need some of that coal. Now, if I can aim up just right, I can 
There we go. Grab all the stuff on its way down. While I'm mad at him, I might as well make all the bread. What's going on, boys? The last village sucked. I'm hoping this one's better. Oh, wow. Well, you guys got my chicken problem solved. And... Ugh. Ugh. Just getting all those feathers now. Yeah, smashing chickens into the ground at high speeds is definitely the way to go. All right, that should be enough feathers. You may be saying to yourself, great, that doesn't look very safe. This is totally safe. I will say, I don't really want to use <laughs> the gravity gun down here, though. Listen, I need gold to make this meme dream work here. Gold never gets the, the value that it's worth. But today, I'm going to make a gold gravity gun. I also need a bucket. Don't mind me. I'm just digging my way out the easy way. You know, by absolutely destroying the laws of physics. Like I'm spending my whole freaking life on the ground. Oh God, the gravity gun can move bedrock too. But with the gold, hell yes. All right, let's see how she does. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh, it's awful. Oh god, I need to get the hell out of here. Oh shit, I took the floor away from myself. Okay, now things are getting a little dicey using this because it takes up a lot of stuff whenever I do it. But I need to get the diamond one going. Where you at, diamond? I'm literally mo moving entire chunks at this point. You know, it'd be really nice to find a diamond that wasn't a pain in the ass to mine. That would be amazing. Give me the diamond. Any more, you stingy bastards? Be like, what are you doing, Greg? Trying to get myself killed. Don't worry about it. There's water nearby, so I'll be fine. Here we go. Nice. Okay, that should be enough. Listen, what could go wrong, okay? Nothing. Now this still isn't the most powerful- There's no way in hell I'm using this down here, hold on. I had to come up top, so you could more adequately see what this thing does now. <laughs> oh god, it's glorious! Come here, pig! Yay! What do you think? You think you can land on his feet? I'm pretty sure he landed on his feet. Hey, Cole. All right, we're almost where we need to be to destructicate the Ender Dragon, but there's one other thing I need to add to this. Hold on. In order to do this, we have to go deep and dirty. Mm. So I uh, made it so you take this. Okay, throw this in here. Well, first, let me grab one of these. Throw this here. Dead chicken. There it is. Oh, yes. It's like every damn thumbnail. The rainbow bow. All right, now I have to see if it's enough zeros. Yes. This dude's over here. He's like, oh man, I wish my house was closer to the water. Okay. The whole house. <laughs> you can just grab the whole house. All right, hold on. Right, I want to see if I can keep it together. Let me just, I'm going to move the whole house. All right, right here. Right here. Uh, yeah, looks, uh, Looks great. This guy's like, what the hell happened to the physics of the game? What's this block doing? It's like a meth. Yeah, welcome to the channel. Oh yeah, we're ready for the nether. But hold on, technically, since I since I suck, here, now we're slightly more ready. There we go, good enough. You're not gonna wanna stand there, buddy. <laughs> you know what, hold on, hold on. <laughs> damn it. Here, stand over here. I wanna see if I can get you inside the portal. I have to light this damn thing up again. Stop coming toward me. There. Get inside, go. You go first, you, you tell me how the spawn is in there. <laughs> hmm. He's not stepping through the portal. Let me see if he'll teleport with me if I just go with the gun. I got bad news, guys. I don't think he made it. <laughs> hey, stop that bullshit. You want a piece of meat? Woo. Okay. All right. I think I just sent him into the next dimension. <laughs> anyway, where I was trying to go th with this before I was very, very violently interrupted. Oh, how the hell did you get up there? Oh yeah, I'm not dealing with you, man. Give me all that. All right, you still down here, buddy? You should feel lucky you're like the one poor bastard I haven't gravity gunned. Hey, chill out and take the damn gold. There. Hey, are you done? I see those eyes. He's like, oh, this gold bar reminds me of my wife. This is what I think of your wife analogy. Oh, the pearls are actually stuck in him. Ah, uh, hmm. All right, I'm gonna let you down. Oh, Christ. I thought we had an understanding. There we go. I had to smother him under the earth. Give me the pearls. I swear to God, I'm gonna beat you to death with these friggin' blazes. Yeah, what now? All right, when it's game time, it's pain time, baby. Here we go. Come here, you little rat bastard. Come here. Uh, you like that? Yeah? You like it? You feel good? Give me the blaze rod. 
Give me the blaze rod. Give it to me. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So if I put him like halfway in the ground, that kills him real good. There we go. Kill him inside the mountain. All right, there we go. That should be perfect. Nice. All right, I think that there's... Ow. I was gonna say, I think that there's one somewhere here. There is. I'll just grab all of you. There, you're all going inside the wall. There we go. <laughs> Their stuff should just pop out, hopefully. When I hear the cries stop, I know they're all dead. Here it is. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, my son. Uh, yeah, that should be enough. Hey, later, bitch. I'm going home. Hey, everyone, I'm back. They're like, no. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. So, um, real quick, I figured maybe I would want something that looks like an actual gravity gun instead of the bow. Pigs, real, real quick, I, I need you guys. What do you, uh, what do you think? What do you think? You think, you think the bow is better or you think the gun is better? Here. It, how about, how about this? How about this? How about this? If you land in the water, okay, I'll use the gun. If you land on the ground, I'll use the bow. Here, ready? Here we go. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Guess I'm using the bow. Real quick though, I was uh, I was talking to the beaver population. They said they wanted a dam here, so. Hold on, chicken. Where are you going? Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it! You screwed everything up. Um. Yeah, the beavers are gonna be pissed. Are you kidding me right now? Hey, Flipper, can you give me that pearl? Stop bouncing the damn eye around. Well, in a glorious turn of events, um, this is where we're supposed to go. Awesome. Congratulations, fish. Everyone's getting yeeted. <gasps> oh my God, I can anti-gravity a huge block of water. Look at it. It's amazing because inside the water like this, it's, I can breathe. Look at the dolphin, it's, just, it's caught inside of the anti-gravity gigantic ocean chunk that I've stolen. Maybe finding this will actually be a lot easier than I thought it would. What happens if I eat it all? Oh my God. <laughs> oh Jesus, what is happening? I'm gonna die. Oh, holy Jesus. Well, that went surprisingly well. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Oh! Hell yes! No! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, who's your daddy, Silverfish? It's me. Suck it. And a dragon, I'm coming. And I'm bringing gravity with me. Alrighty. This looks awful. Alright, first things first. Go ahead and just grab the entire tower and yeet it into the stratosphere. There we go. Another tower over here. You yeet us that. <laughs> <laughs> See another tower's working. We can get rid of that. Oh, got one over here in the distance. Yeah. This one. God, this whole place just looks like a jacked up Picasso painting now. <laughs> over here. And out you go. I got the ender dragon. Look at him trying to get away. <laughs> Hold on, what happens if I throw him? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you know what? Chill out, Enderman. Get out of here. Here. Away. So real quick, I had to go here <laughs> just to show you this. <laughs> what's what's the matter, Ender Dragon? Are you smothering? Can you breathe? <laughs> okay, I had to program something in to see if this works. Hold on. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. I... <laughs> Hold on, I gotta run. Ouch! Oh god! Okay, the plan is I'm gonna yeet the gigantic TNT cube at him with the gravity gun. This should work. Alright, grab that. There we go. And then, yay! There, there we go! Oh my god! Yeah, look at him, they're landing all the way up there! It's perfect! Okay, this could totally work. Actually, hold on, let me do a couple. Oh, Jesus! Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll be back with that thought in a second. Uh, luckily, I put all these pillars down using the gravity, so I have a lot of places to hide. Ow! Okay, here's the plan. Instead, because I know I can hold the Ender Dragon, I'm gonna make the TNT, grab the Ender Dragon, 
and then hold him inside of the gigantic TNT block. That should work. There we go, here he is. Okay. God, this giant minefield of death I made. All right, this. Where are you going, Ender Dragon? Yeah, where are you going? Drink the TNT. Tastes good, doesn't it? <laughs> and we have a... Are you serious? As weird as it is, it's actually easier to grab something with the Ender Dragon nearby and pull him into the object. There we go. That should do it. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> He's flipping out. Yay. That's how I get up and down really fast. The dragon fought gravity, gravity won. <laughs> hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Minecraft. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.